Hello everyone, thanks for joining me in the Allen Block workshop to learn about what it takes to successfully construct your Allen Block retaining wall project. What I will walk you through today is how to build outside curves as a part of your retaining wall. Sweeping curves in any landscape add style and beauty with a graceful transition in the place of corners. Today I will show you outside curves along with proper grid placement and finishing with AB capstones. Refer to our other videos on how to install proper base trench and a base course, as these steps will apply. So, let's check out the layout here in the workshop to show you how it's done. For our example today, I will be showing the placement only of how to build an outside curve using AB Classic blocks in our workshop. I won't be showing backfilling in this part, but I will bring in GeoGrid placement. For your project, refer to our radius charts and our installation manuals as a guide for building your curves when installing the base trench. What I have here is two AB Classic blocks. Outside curves will require the removal of one or both of the back wings of the block, depending on the radius of the curve. To properly remove the wings, use a hammer and strike the wing from the back of the block towards the front. With the wings removed, you can now build the outside curve. One thing to remember is as the wall gets taller, this radius will get tighter. So the base course needs to be installed accordingly to ensure when you reach the top of the wall, the blocks can still be placed. The minimum radius possible for the AB Classic block is four feet. Add additional blocks to build the curve using consistent spacing for a smooth, finished look, leveling each block as you go. Once the first course is in place, check again for level to ensure the whole course is level and aligned. Backfilling and compaction are required, but I am just showing you layout here. On the next course, remove the wings and place the blocks on the base course to ensure the seams are offset from the course below by at least three inches and build out. Almost all curves can be built by simply removing the wings as needed and will allow for nice gentle curves to be built without any modifications to the blocks at all. On occasions where a tighter curve or radius is needed to remove any gaps that may appear in the front of the wall, there are a couple options. Half width blocks can be used instead if available, or modifications of the bottom notch will be needed. Again, this is for a tighter radius, not needed for standard typical curves. By removing part of the block's bottom notches, it will pull the blocks closer to the face of the wall. To do this, Mark the blocks to be cut on the bottom of the blocks as shown here. Using a saw with a diamond blade, cut horizontally into the block. Use a hammer and chisel to remove the cut area. Then place the block on the wall and pull up against the front lip of the course below. Modify any blocks per course as you go. Continue the same process to the top of the wall. If the wall needs reinforcement, there is a specific grid layout that is required for outside curves to ensure the curve is completely covered with no grid overlapping. A trick is to cut the grid in smaller widths and lay them tight against the front of the blocks positioned to lay back into the reinforced zone, like this. Cut sections of grid to the specified lengths for the project. Place the cut edge of the grid, the machine or roll direction, tight against the back of the raised front lip of the block and fan out back into the hillside. Trim any ends to fit along the front lips. You can see that the grid will overlap in the back. You will need to place fill material between any layers of the grid so they do not touch and are separated from each other by three inches. Install the grid in this fashion on any additional courses required in the same process. So let's review what we've covered for building a retaining wall with an outside curve. Depending on the radius of your curve, remove the wings from the backs of the blocks. Use a hammer to strike the wings off the block for a clean break. Place the modified blocks tightly together to create a naturally flowing curve. Level each block as installed and down the wall in both directions. Then, using wall rock, fill the block course behind the block 12 inches and backfill with approved on-site soils. Rake the top of the blocks clean, and then compact with a mechanical plate compactor behind the blocks a minimum of two passes. If the wall requires geogrid, cut the grid to length and lay tight against the front lips of the blocks and positioned back into the reinforced zone. Trim the ends as needed to fit the grid along the front lips. Where the grid overlaps, place a three inch layer of infill material to separate them from one another. 
Remove wings as needed and then install additional courses. Place the blocks so they offset the seams from the blocks below by either running bond or by at least a quarter of the length of the block. Level each block as installed and down the wall in both directions. Then, using wall rock, fill the block cores, behind the block 12 inches and backfill with approved on-site soils. Rake the top of the blocks clean. Starting on the second course, compact on the top of the blocks then behind the blocks with a mechanical plate compactor, a minimum of two passes. Continue this process to the top of the wall with grid on every other course as shown in approved plans. Cap your curve by placing two AB capstones with the back of each block tight together so there is a gap in the front. Measure the distance of the gap. Divide this distance in half and measure in and mark that on the back of each cap to know how much to remove. Draw a line from the front corner of the block to the mark on the back. Using a saw with a diamond blade, cut accordingly. Place the modified caps back on the wall. Repeat this process as you move along the curve. Secure caps in place with a flexible concrete adhesive. Incorporating curves into your project adds many benefits to the design, installation, and final look. Not only is it more structurally sound, it also lowers the amount of cutting you would have to do if it were a cornered wall instead. Curves are also much faster and easier to build. All this in mind will show you why we always recommend building walls with curves. By following these steps, you will be able to incorporate flawless looking curves into any retaining wall project. Happy building! Always better! Always Allen Block.